welcome back, friends. The Bluegrass Community Foundation, University of Kentucky, Lexington Public Library, and our community partners present The Color of Law and Just Action. Now, this is an evening with the authors at the University of Kentucky Gatton Student Center Cinema on Tuesday, October 24th. So tell us all about this event. We've got Katie Bauman and Courtney Turner. Appreciate you both being here. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. So first and foremost, I understand you're all sold out. We already are. so yeah. you, you've, you've got all those seats filled but there is a waiting list opportunity for people yes there is a wait list and we will also be live streaming the event for folks who can't make it to the actual wonderful event. because this is important content and uh, we, we definitely need to make sure we get this out let's talk a little bit about the partnership first we, we just mentioned a, a bunch of awesome community mm -hmm. players and uh, to see you all coming together on, on a topic like this means a lot. So let's talk a little bit about the partnership. Yeah, so Community Reads is a program that the library did for years and years. A few years ago, it went on a pause. And then last year, BGCF approached us um, when Heather McGee, the author of Some of Us, they were going to host her for an author visit, asking us to revive the program. And so we did. And this year, we're lucky enough to do it again around two. And we're super excited to have the Rothsteins come in. Very, next very week. cool. Very cool. And obviously, this made all the sense in the world to your organization. This is this is something we got to be a part of. Yes. So the mission of Bluegrass Community Foundation is to build more generous, vibrant, and engaged communities in Central and Appalachia, Kentucky. So this initiative was the perfect example for one of the many ways that we do that. Um, we love to nurture and and strengthen the communities that we work with. Um, and we think part of that is just being a good neighbor. So having the opportunity to work with so many wonderful partners and organizations and um, to open this conversation was something that was really important to us. Wonderful. Well, let's talk about that conversation now. What are folks in store for? And uh, open minds and hearts, obviously, uh, during this time. What what can people expect from this, uh, from this engagement? Sure. So our whole endeavor here is to get folks in our community learning about engaging with difficult topics um, and also having a productive discussion together about right. our community um, and discussing how we can move forward in a productive way. Now, and obviously you all know better than anyone, I mean, given this topic, the challenge of that is huge because we've, Absolutely. we've tended mm -hmm. to lost our, our way in terms of being able to communicate about uh, tough topics and divisive topics. So what type of forum is being established to, to make that conversation happen when we so often find ourselves butting heads with one another and good friends and neighbors, unfortunately? Mm. Absolutely. So with the community reads this year, obviously there's the book that gives us the language to talk about these things, mm. some discussion questions to talk about with each other. That's where Just Action, the, the toolkit book comes in yes. by Richard Rothstein and Leah Rothstein. Um, but also at the library, we have programs around the community reads. So we have book discussions that are going on now and they'll continue throughout the month um, and other programs that will involve people of all ages. We have a teen event, we have adult events, and of course this wonderful event with BGCF that sort of brings it all together. Boy, I hope too, beyond this conversation and beyond this moment, that people can take away some toolkit skills to maybe help in their uh, discussions with friends and neighbors and colleagues down the road when, when we do find ourselves on opposite ends of a, of a, of a topic. So again, um, we've, we've got the cinema fill. Uh, but you do have a waiting list. What's the best way for people to get on that waiting list and to uh, maybe dial into the uh, live streaming opportunity? Yes, please visit us at bgcf.org slash events. You can get on the waiting list. If you have a ticket and you are not able to come, please release that ticket so that people on the waiting list can come. Um, but again, it will be live streamed and you can find that at bgcf.org slash events. Sold out is a good problem to have. Yes, we'll this, take it. This means that uh, the <laughs> The community is engaged, yes. and that means that uh, your all's missions for your your individual organizations are are working at, at peak capacity here, which yes. uh, we depend on. So, <laughs> thank you both for for bringing this together. We want to encourage people to hit, get that live stream, and uh, clearly, you're going to have to do this again. <laughs> yes, so. absolutely. I think we're in it for the long haul this time. Yes. Thank you both so much. Thanks thank for having you us. So much. Appreciate you being here. We're going to take a break. We're going to be back with more for you after this. Stick around.